Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about automated ads. Should you be using them, and especially when it came to Facebook announcing that they're going to be using automated ads as like a set it and forget it type of ad placement for small businesses, I think that you absolutely need to watch this. It is a poor decision. I'm going to tell you why it's such a poor decision and what you should do as an alternative to automated ads for your business. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears and I make daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please just comment below, let me know, and I'm happy to respond. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And let's talk about automated ads. So Facebook just announced that they're going to be doing automated ads. Now Facebook's conversion pixels and their targeting options have been amazing. And so it might sound very, very attractive, like, oh, this sounds like a great plan. I think this is gonna work out amazing. Wouldn't it be wonderful just to tell Facebook, hey, bring me sales. I'm just gonna let you basically choose who to show my ads to and run with it. And it sounds great in theory, but here's the problem. Google actually already has um, an automated campaign. It's basically the same thing. The equivalent in Google are called smart campaigns. And smart campaigns are terrible. Here's why they're terrible. First thing, they are very poor when it comes to having the right placements being used. So as a result, you're gonna get tons of search partner networks and tons of kind of the remnant ad space that nobody's buying. It's gonna just start serving you up um, in these different spots that are not helpful. Now I see that happening. I'm, I bet that's going to happen specifically in Facebook. So there's instant experiences and there's the related apps and all kinds of other weird placements. But if you look at those ad formats, they look really bad. And typically when you get lots of impressions or you get lots of views or clicks, it's going to be very poor quality traffic. And so I think that it's very important that you think about that. It doesn't, it's not that hard to run ads on Facebook as it is. I think that if you are thinking about running ads or boosting posts or getting your content out there in front of people, um, I think that you're going to be far better served if you learn how to do the basics of Facebook's ads manager and you just choose targeting. It's really not that difficult. And the other thing that I think is going to be a difficult thing for Facebook with this is that they're just going to be selling tons of ads that they, they like more ads to be shown and they like their ad spaces to be filled so they want to show more ads they're not necessarily looking for the ultimate quality for you every time you create an ad campaign inside of facebook they say hey try adding more options try adding this to get your campaign to work better and if you follow those recommendations you're typically typically going to see poor results if you try these things out you can test them and you can try them out but Facebook is trying to sell ads to people and it's cool that they're trying to make the barrier to entry easier for this and make it less intimidating. But ultimately, you need to understand your business. So I think you can test it, but my experience is going to be, and, and I'm sure my experience is going to be that people will try this and say, you know what, Facebook ads don't work, I've tried these things. And unless you're just looking for vanity metrics, which is like impressions, or clicks, but not really conversions, you're going to not be happy with the results. I almost guarantee it. Just from what I've seen from other businesses that have been running smart campaigns or AdWords Express, when you take away these targeting options that let you get better refinement and create higher quality ads and things, it just makes the result a lot less desirable in general. So I think that if, if you're thinking about doing Facebook ads, they're really not that hard. It's not difficult to get into Facebook, to set up a Facebook ads manager, to figure out who your campaign is or who, who you should be targeting in your campaign, what you should be offering these people. It's not hard to get started as an alternative. It's hard to master these things. And, you know, having a professional who does this all the time, who understands sales and persuasion and not just the tactics, but also the principles behind marketing, what makes good marketing, what makes people take action, who should we be targeting, all of these things. If you can figure out how to put your offer in front of the right group of people, then you're going to be successful. So my suggestion would be that if Facebook comes out with these automated ads and they try to push them and scale them, which they absolutely will, I would really, really suggest that you don't try them. Or if you do try them, just do a tiny test to see 
but my suspicion is that they're going to be just money wasters. And especially something that's promised as set it and forget it is a very poor decision for any small business owner. I know that it's it's easy to think like it would be amazing and convenient and it would be wonderful just to give Facebook some money and they give me customers in return. But it really isn't that simple. So until some kind of AI comes out that's really sophisticated, it's just not going to be an option in my opinion. I would love to know what you think though. Am I off base? Do you think Facebook is going to be amazing with their new automated ad sets? I just can't see it working out, but I would love to know what you think. Be sure to comment below and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.